most dangerous drug on the streets. It's cheap, easy to hide, undetectable to drug dogs. The target users, teenagers. KETV News Watch 7's Melissa Fry is finding out more. Well, Brandy, federal agents tell me this synthetic LSD is more powerful than the stuff in the 60s. I saw it today. One hit is half the size of my pinky nail, but one hit of this drug is proven to be deadly. That's 2,000 hits right there. Disguised here as bookmarks, but very hard to read because authorities don't know exactly what's in this synthetic LSD, but they know it has caused 21 deaths in the U.S. Increases the heart rate. Uh, tremendously, it, it causes respiratory problems. The psychedelic drug also causes seizures. Mike Sanders is the DEA assistant special agent in charge of this region. He says this drug, called N bomb or SMILE, is ordered online and sent from China. You can fit tens of thousands of hits in, in a regular envelope and, and ship them through the mail. So small, so easy to conceal because canines can't pick up on any smell from the stuff. Users inject it, eat it, smoke it, or just touch it. N bomb can absorb into the skin. That's why Sanders is wearing gloves. One tiny hit can keep a person hallucinating for 12 hours. Sweating profusely, uh, confusion, uh, paranoia. DEA put two Omaha men behind bars last week 20 year old Brett Booker and 21 year old Enrique Nadrar, both accused of selling N bomb in Omaha. The U.S. Marshals have a hold on their release as the investigation continues. We're probably, in reality, just, just scratching the surface on, on what uh, is really going on here in, in Nebraska with the supply and distribution of, of n -bomb. The DEA is working with China's government trying to track down the producers of this drug. Although it is illegal in the U.S. as of last year, Sanders says, like with other synthetic drugs, the makers can manipulate the chemical makeup to try to keep it legal. Well, Melissa, you mentioned sweating, paranoia. What else can people, especially parents, look out for? Yeah, Sanders says they're going to try to work with local law enforcement, medical staff, and schools to educate them. But other than that, he says parents just need to talk to their kids about the dangers of this drug. Melissa Fry reporting live tonight. Thanks, Melissa.